So here we are in the middle of a cost of living crisis. And on top of that now, mortgage rates are going up. The first time we've seen mortgage rates go up for some considerable time. So what does this mean for you? So the people that are most affected by the rise in interest rates are the most immediately affected um, are people looking to remortgage their deals coming to an end, let's say, in the next six to 12 months. So um, these may, may be people that have bought a house for the first time in the last decade and never actually experienced interest rates going up before. So it's a whole new experience for them. Now you might be coming off an interest rate sub 2% and you're gonna be looking at a new deal, possibly double that. So you, there's definitely gonna be an increase in mortgage payments. So what you need to be doing is at six months before your deal comes to an end, starting to look around at what other deals are out there. Your current lender may well offer you a deal to stay with them, but speak to a mortgage broker and we will compare what your current lender is offering with what else is out there in the market. And with some providers, you can lock in up to six months in advance. If you're in the middle of a fixed rate deal, then it could be in your interest to look to remortgage, even though the rate is higher. Because if you're really concerned that if mortgage rates continue to rise, rise and rise again, they may become unaffordable, then it's worth a conversation at least about potentially paying off your early repayment charge and securing a new deal at the rates that they are before they go up even further. But you'll need advice before embarking on that action. So what about if you're looking to buy a home for the first time? Well, I think that first time buyers will probably continue to buy properties. Um, what are the alternatives? I suppose if you're living at home with family members, you may continue with doing that. Uh, renters, well, it's not like your rent is gonna stay the same for a long period of time because your landlord is probably at some point gonna put the rent up because they're affected by the cost of living crisis as well. Their remortgage may be coming due um, and that cost of their increased mortgage will ultimately be passed down to the tenant. So my thought is that even if mortgage rates are higher, if the mortgage payment is comparable to the rent that you're paying, I think that most first time buyers will continue to buy. So what about people looking to move home? Well, these are people that are in two minds anyway, generally, looking to um, upsize perhaps for an extra bedroom, but they're already thinking about these larger bills, energy prices going up, taking out a bigger mortgage. So um, I'm feeling here that home movers potentially might stay put for a bit longer, waiting for the dust to settle. However, it looks like we're gonna be in for a period of interest rates rising. So it could actually be that waiting for that bit longer means that the mortgage that you ultimately take out uh, becomes more expensive. But I think home movers, their typical response to anything like this is, we've got our home, we're on the property ladder, let's just wait and see. So what about late life lending? Well, the rates on those deals are gonna be increasing as well. But what we've started to see in the last couple of weeks is inquiries of need over inquiries of want. So people worried about their income in retirement, looking to borrow money, just to service their everyday needs and requirements, but also helping their uh, children onto the property ladder and possibly helping them pay their mortgages as well. So landlords are just getting it from every direction. So from making their homes more uh, efficient um, in the future on the EPC rating, to the stamp duty surcharge, the changes in taxation, um, and now they're faced with higher mortgage payments as well. So what's gonna happen there? Well, I think ultimately some of those raises in interest rates, those extra costs will be passed down to tenants, um, unfortunately, and we have seen people looking to offload their portfolios. What we've actually seen more than anything in, in the last year or two is a move away from the amateur landlord into the more the professional landlord, people that are doing it as a full-time business.